back to Beard Bros, everyone. Hey! We're gonna probably be crashed today. Uh, I just wanted to fast forward this because... Oh, Whoa. never mind. We're trying to that. get the uh, secret exit to uh, Road to Ruin. Yeah, Road, we have Road to Ruin and Snow Go as our two levels of uh, what we need to do today. So we have to kill this guy. How did you do that? And then go. It looked like you were dead for surezies. It's because I'm the best, my dude. Oh, shit. You maybe heard of me when I'm asleep. You maybe heard of me when I'm asleep. All right, here we go. Road to Ruin. We unlocked it. We can go to it anytime. Beat it. We're going to get these. Uh, this is, I think it's a secret gem path. Mbeepus. I think it's a secret gem path. This one, I can go look. Yeah, it's a secret gem path. Here we go. Yeah, you can do this. Oh, boy. Oh, it's actually, it might not be secret gym path, I think it's actually get all the, uh, boxes. Boxes. Yeah, it might be boxes. Yeah, because I think this is a death, this is the death one, so we have to try and get, uh, or death path ones, we have to try and get all the boxes. Yeah, break all the levels crates. Confirmed. Did you know that Road to Ruins based off the 1978 album by the Ramones? Is that true? According to the Crash Wiki. And not just the phrase Road to Ruin, which is common in the vernacular. Specifically based off the 1978 Shit. Ramones album, Road to Ruin. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's no way that's true. I don't believe you. That was written by someone who's heard of the album Road to Ruin, but hasn't heard anybody use the phrase Road to Ruin in real life before. This is a bullshit jump. This is th this right here is the definition of a bullshit jump. What the jump over the over the nitro crates? It's like, hey, how's your death perception, bitch? It's not that bad. Boink. Clean. And that's how you crash, kids. This right here is hard. Yeah, this sucks also. Oh, good woo. job, Drag. And now we're at the beginning of the level. This is how you crash. It was only for those 32. And then now you just get all the rest of them again? Mm-hmm. I guess that wasn't that hard. No, it wasn't. It's not bad. Show them how to crash. I really want to see the Spyro collection now. I'm very impressed with how this game looks. Based on what my opinion of how Crash looked was before. Here we go, got the check mark, we're good. Have you played the Spyro Collection at all yet? No, I mean, I've been trying to. I, I'm right now streaming New Game Plus for, uh, by the time this episode airs, I will have completed it. I just want to know, I just want to know if it. it looks this good. As far, from what I've seen, yes, it does. It looks incredible. That's very exciting. I mean, both, both series, games that I just never played beyond the demo disc, but... You know, I know they're classics, and I, I, I'm interested in seeing them in, in the good graphics. Yeah, I'm, uh... I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm sorry, guys. What do you mean? You have to get all the crates. Right, but I'm, like, carefully jumping on each one. I I think it's fine. As long as we're doing it good, we're doing a good job, we're being thorough, that's all we need. Mm -hmm. I'm chill with it. Look at that fucking fat-ass Rizzo. <laughs> you know how Rizzo has like always like a couple family members? Yeah. That's like one of them right there. Is that a possum or is that a mouse? Who knows, man? I think it's a fucking big ass rat. It's gross. Rats are some of the grossest creatures that exist, literally. They are actually disgusting. You heard of a rat king? A rat king? Yeah, where they all the rats get their tails tied together. Yeah. And they and they just be a one gross mass together. That's a real thing. Yeah. They get like tangled. They just like, there's so many that they just like mush together and become this fucking gross thing. There's not that many records of them. People talk about it like it's like a thing that happens a lot. No, it's not that common. It's not, but they have, it, it has happened where a bunch of rats get their tails tied together. And they get like a big mass. They just pull that shit out of like some fucking like space between a wall and shit. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's like gross throwing and throwing up and shitting on itself and oh, good <laughs> lord! Get me out! Welcome back to Beard Bros. What the fuck was that conversation? I'm just saying rat facts, man. Beard Bros got to be about the trivia. I never want to know any more trivia about rats. They can eat anything. They're very smart and social. I don't care. 
They're actually good. Pets. I'm just being reasonable. They're the bad guy from the Nutcracker. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, the Rat King. Uh, what's what's the great mouse detective? <laughs> Radigan. Radigan from the mouse detective. Yeah, and Templeton from. Oh yeah. Yes, from. Yeah, that's more. I guess more. <laughs> That'd be me in a musical. That's Paul Lind. He's like, ah, oh, that guy from Bye Bye Birdie. I don't have a good Paul Lind. You guys know what he sounds yeah. like. He sounds like Roger from American Dad, exactly. <laughs> Roger right. from American Dad is literally just an impression of Paul Lind. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Road to Ruin Down. We still have to do Snow snow Dogs. Snow, snow Go. <laughs> Not Snow Dogs. Snow what's, Go. What's the move? Who's, who's in Snow Dogs? Is it Kuba? Kuba. It's Kuba. <laughs> Didn't he win an Oscar and then he did Snow Dogs? There's no way that he won an that, Oscar. That's for the Oscar it. curse, my dude. You do a, you get an Academy Award and then you do a shitty, it's awful movie. Awful movie. Yeah, let's 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 investigate that. Because he won for radio, right? Or no, I he, something else. He, I think he won for radio. No, I think he won for Jerry Maguire. I think you're, I think you're right. Best. He's nominated for radio. Best for actor. Snow Biz. Snow Dogs. That movie cannot be good, right? It's not. Snow no, dogs? No, God no. He was really good in the in, um, American Horror Story season Roanoke. So Gary Oldman was the last guy who won Best Actor. Uh huh. We all know Gary Oldman. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna see what his next movie is on the docket. See if the curse holds up. Yeah, he's won like a couple by now. Right? Yeah, you need, but you need, to, you need to give a, a couple of more. You need to give. The curse needs to be within 18 months because they haven't signed on to the bad movie. Yeah, I'm yet. just gonna go. Okay, so okay, so he's in. He's in Darkest Hour. That was 2017. Okay. His next movie is called Tau. It's a Netflix movie, and it came out in June, and right, so it can... has a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. Unbelievable. Yep. The very next movie on his filmography. That's fucking amazing. Who would think that fucking Gary Oldman would ever be, like, in a bad movie? That guy's, like, the best. He's a real good Commissioner Gordon. He just looks like he's, like, out of breath the whole time. <laughs> Probably it. Casey Affleck. Mm hmm. 2016. He, uh, let's see, awards and nominations. He won Best Actor for Manchester by the Sea. Pretty devastating movie. And then after Manchester by the Sea, he made a movie called The Finest Hours. 64% on Russian Tomato. Crazy. Did you say Russian tomatoes? Russian tomato. Like Rashomon? Rashomon potatoes. <laughs> he got a 64% on Russian potatoes. <laughs> Dude, it's Knuckles. What a shape. It's like the titties in Kirby. <laughs> what? What? You never heard about that? Oh boy, well, well, what mystery internet is this thing? You never heard about the titties in Kirby? No. In like Kirby's Dreamland, like it's like one of the original Kirby games, like one of the levels is just like a crude like stick figure of like titties in a vagina, like going down with like a smiley face. Chris, put that on screen. This is a real thing. I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find this. Kirby boobs. I hope you get a bunch of fan art for Kirby. Snag, yeah, you're not. You went down. Ooh, a that was a bad path. one. Yep. Kirby boob level. There has to be a good picture of it zoomed out. Yeah, there it is. Fuck. I swear. Look at that. Tell me that's not supposed to be boobs and a vagina. Flip it over. <laughs> it okay. is, dude. Let's see that. It's uh, debatable. Dude, come on. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Internet.
You think Sakurai put that in there? You think Sakurai put in the titties? He loves Dude, he seems like a guy who 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 loves titties. I see that guy, that's the first thing I think. I'm like, that's it, no, that's a man who loves titties. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna indulge this conversation. I don't know. I mean, how old is he? Like 40? He's 15. 40, 50 years old? He was probably like 20 years old or something when he was making Kirby, right? Like, it's not the same. Like, and it also wasn't like the game Kirby. Like, this was like the first Kirby game. Like, this could have been a game that sold like 10 copies. You know what I mean? You just got erased by it that. It keeps happening to me. I shouldn't jump. It's gross to think that Crash is just like smushed on the bottom of that thing. Wait. I wish like there was a mode you could do where you added gore to this for like when he got you know crushed and like. All right, look, you put enough Tomb Raider. That would be that That's would true. be that game. Holy shit, those deaths. Dude, Tomb Raider fucks me up. Me and Kelly like started playing that one night together. <coughs> oh my god, we were like eating dinner and we were like, what should we do? Oh man, Tomb Raider looks really good. We should check it out. And then the first like sequence, we like died underwater. It was like. We were like, oh my god, like, we gotta stop playing this. This is like, like a crisis. bombing us out, yeah. Have you seen her, like, get, sh like, hooked with something or shot with something or, like, impaled on a stick down Yeah, it's fucked up. I can't believe that shit. <laughs> it's fucked. Makes you not want to die. Bam. Oh god, that was so close. Shit, shit, no. No, I need to get these. No, I need to get these. You're getting them all. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> it's crazy that you actually just can't see. Whoa! Holy fuck, Crash. You need some new shoes, dude. It's fucking crazy, bro. This is easy. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's like Jar Jar Binks. Somehow he's making it. Look at that troll one up there. They're like, he'll never go back from this one. Oh my god. All right. Clean! Damn, this one has a lot of crates. Yeah. <laughs> what about that interaction killed him? Like, it's okay. Probably got bit. I feel like he broke his neck when he ran into the seal. <laughs> no, it's just, it's platforming. You touch something you weren't supposed to touch. I know, but I'm just like... Just like, that seal was minding his own business and like... St. Peter was like, don't even fucking get, take him to the gates. Just take, make him an angel. <laughs> this guy's a hero. <laughs> clean, clean, clean. <gasps> mm -hmm. All right, we did it. Done. One more level, and then it's time to beat the game. Fuck yes! One more level secret? Gem? One more level beating it. We have, we, we beat four out of the five. Oh, we just didn't beat the last level, yeah. okay. Alright, let's go up. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. All right, we are on spaced out. This might be the hardest level in the game. Even harder than pissing it away? Yes. One of the two. Let's see. What do you got to say about spaced out? Definitely the hardest to speed run, that's for sure. Because I did this shit not too long ago and it was awful. Why are you speed running it? Oh, for the onks? Yeah. Ugh. A shitty task. I just remembered, guys. If you were like, I wish I could have watched Gerard complete this game. You could have. There's a vod of it on our uh, on my Twitch page mm -hmm. and yep. my YouTube my the YouTube personal channel. So if you're like, man, I wish I could have watched Gerard stream this game for the episode. I did. And the uh, the time trials are there. I, I did the last the last world time trials on camera. Took me a little bit of like an hour or so, but. that shit that was crazy in Japan this level is called color diamonds trial they didn't even try to uh, make it themed they just call it what it is this level's name is a sly reference to the 1980 Warner Brothers Bug Bunny Marvin the Martian animated cartoon short spaced out bunny are you fucking kidding me why what makes it a reference to that have you not heard the phrase spaced out before <laughs> what is hey, it? Man, don't look at me. What is it called when your head is in the clouds and you're not paying attention to what somebody's doing? Spaced out. Yeah. High in the sky apple pie. High in the sky apple pie? Yeah. Is that from the same person that told you handy jays were a thing? Same guy who nicknamed you in college? No nickname Chris. Nobody? You guys gave me that nickname. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard high in the sky? What, that's not what you said. You added, you said something else after. You were like, High in the sky, pie in the sky is what you said. Yeah. High in the sky, apple pie. Like that song? High in the sky, apple pie? Yeah, it's like that. It's like the rubber tree player. You say, oh, I'm sorry. Right. I, was, I was high in the pie, apple sky. <laughs> apple pie. I was high in the sky, apple pie. I wasn't paying attention. Hold on. I'm going to look up other idioms for space. Here we out. go. Apparently, this level partially mirrors the Great Hall level from Crash 1. Oh, there's so many good ones. Ugh. This is one of the four levels, like I've been saying, that has more bonus crates than regular crates. <coughs> this is the last one of the four. Those things are gross, man. They look like those, like, big fleshy starfish. I'm talking about? Yeah. What is hard about this level? Just this, like, weird spacing here? I'm doing the the secondary diamond quest right now, or the gym quest where it's like. Is it the, easier than the regular level? No, it's harder. Yeah. Okay. It's like you go to a secret path and. Clean. Clean. One's a gimme. These ones are themed after the gems. So that was the white gem. This is like the ultimate last level where you use all the gems to... Cool. Died! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> no big deal. Last level of the game. We're doing... We're making excellent time. Don't feel weird. You're good at this game. You're very good at this game. You just kicked that piece of shit. Fuck this starfish. I got time for this starfish. Crash, be careful. Crash, be careful. You're so high up, dude. Oh, Crash, chill out. You're too high up. Whoa. Crash, be careful, dude. Your eyebrows are too big. How does Crash even open his eyes with fucking eyebrows that thick? Like John Oliver. <laughs> Bazinga. 
how do I do this? Can you jump on that thing? Can you jump on that robot? No, I can slide into it. I see. I think it's just like, go. Like, just run and jump. Because then, once you hit the ground, you need to slide. Right, but... <laughs> they'll... Yeah, we'll see. I just keep fucking up. It's the only way I can see it working, because otherwise, you're gonna just... If you spend too much time on that platform, that thing comes right down on top of your head. Yeah. About what you just said about the, the Great Hall thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's really similar. And even in the in the Japanese version, uh, this one's called what did I say? Like the colored diamond path or whatever? And yeah. in Crash 1, it's called White Diamond, Where Is It? Oh, okay, yeah. So it's like actually a reference in the Japanese version. It's actually a reference to the level from the first game. Which they did not do here, but... Instead, they chose to name it after an obscure Bugs Bunny cartoon from the 80s. Yeah, Spaced Out. I've, I've, yeah. <laughs> You've heard of it? You know that one? Yeah, 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 absolutely. With Marvin the Martian? Mm-hmm. Bugs Bunny's most famous sidekick? Absolutely. <laughs> He's like, hello, I am, I hate Bugs Bunny. You sound I more will like Kermit destroy him. In your... Dude, have you heard Marvin the Martian? Yeah, but he, he's more like Homsar. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bastard with a helmet. Exactly. <laughs> My dog Fuck. is a Martian. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are, you, what are you doing? Uh, some of the files that we're transferring didn't succeed for something, so I'm just helping those upload. Oh, I see. Buzzing! I just noticed that while I was going to upload some stuff for Beer Bros. Woo. And I was like, oh, these I'm are sure, needed I'm, for today. Yeah, I'm sure Pat appreciates it. Appreciates it. Our 1 million subscriber video on uh, Final Fantasy X goes out today. and Or tomorrow, rather. And uh, we're very far behind on it, so... It's pretty much business as usual here at the Completionist HQ. We've been- we haven't had any ma massive hiccups until Mega it, Man 11. It completely depends on what we bite off. That's the thing that's so frustrating about YouTube, it's like... <clears throat> on the one hand, you want to do as best as possible. Because... The fucking system is like so bent on... Optimization and views. That was bullshit. Yeah, that was it bullshit. Sucks. What the fuck? That didn't look like- that didn't look right. Yeah, that wasn't uh, good for you. <clears throat> you know, but at the same time, you know, it's like, well, what game should we play? Well, how about this game, this game, and this game, and each one it takes a million years to complete. You know, sometimes we just get in there, and when it's Christmas time, that's like sweeps. It's yeah. True. yeah. Everyone goes home for the holidays, so we're... Basically, the skeleton crew is left to prepare for the new year. Is anybody actually leaving this year? Ted? Yeah, Ted's Ted goes every year. About a m almost a month. I'll be gone for a week. You going back to, uh... No, we're going to Vegas. <laughs> Crimtus. It just seems like it's just- It seems like it's just waiting. Yeah, it just seems like it's not opening. Yeah, well, kind of unfortunately, I thought it was going to be the last episode, but I think we're running out of time, so we're we'll going to have one more episode, no big deal. It's not, not a bad thing. Yeah. No big deal. Next, next time, I'll be real, just a little... We'll more keep on this. trying, we're, baby. We're, 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 the, we're the final stretches. Final, final, final Fantasy 2. Crash. <laughs> What? Bandicoot. Edition. Sure. <laughs> Beach. Oh, baby. Beard bros. Big underwater Gucci. Big wet Gucci. I'm Gerard. I'm, I'm Gerard. And I'm Alex. And I'm, I'm Alex. Frog in a car. You did it! Great. It's cucumber. What's good? What's good? Yes! Did you really do this? I did. Oh. My voice takes the time. Next time on Beard Bros.